Now that I've created a basic sheet metal part, it's time to look at some of the different options available for bend allowance. To view these options, I simply click on the sheet metal feature and choose Edit Feature. Notice in the Bend Allowance section, the pull-down has five options as discussed earlier. These are Bend Table, K Factor, Bend Allowance, Bend Deduction, and Bend Calculation. Let's take a look at each type. The Bend Table option allows SolidWorks to calculate the Bend Allowance or Bend Deduction values from a table. The Bend Table takes into account the Bend Radius, Bend Angle, Part Thickness, and Material. Bend Tables can be modified using Microsoft Excel. If you're interested in creating a Bend Table, I suggest you copy one of the sample Bend Tables that SolidWorks provides and adjust it to fit your needs. We'll take a more thorough look at modifying a Bend Table in the next lesson. The second type of bend allowance is K-factor. This is the ratio that represents the location of the neutral sheet, measured from the inside, with respect to the thickness of the sheet metal. You might want to look up K-factor in the SolidWorks online help. If you do, you'll find this helpful diagram that makes it a bit easier to understand. Next, we have bend allowance and bend deduction. These options allow you to manually type in your own parameters. Unless you're very experienced in sheet metal, my suggestion is that you stick to the first two options. These can lead to trouble if you don't know what you're doing. Also, we have bend calculation, which lets you define and assign equations to different angular ranges and calculate the developed length of the part. For those wishing to learn more about bend allowance and the mathematical equations behind each type, take a few minutes to review the SolidWorks online help. There's plenty of information there to satisfy your curiosity.